Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the channel and I want to welcome all the new subscribers and today it actually rained all night which was really good uh, we could definitely use the rain and uh, it's, today's our Saturday and uh, lots of little things uh, we're going to go out to the greenhouse because I got the second raft up and running planted some more uh, uh, broccoli out there and uh, today even though the grass is kind of wet, I'm going to do the dreaded thing I got to do is uh, weed and feed. And uh, Sherry's working our books today. So our books, um, you know, it's kind of techy, but we also have to take care of her mom. So when she sits down to do that, that could be a half a day project just working on uh, all that stuff. So kudos to her. She keeps our books in line. And uh, we're also um, freeze drying again. And uh, kind of excited because we just ordered a moisture meter, kind of help us make sure that our stuff's dried out good. And today she's uh, uh, running 48 eggs. So it was kind of interesting. Um, we we're watching uh, Traditional Living Homestead, I believe it's called. And when they do their uh, freeze dryer, uh, they put, they said 18 eggs in their tray. There's no way we can get 18 eggs in a tray. So we finally figured out our eggs are bigger because they're Rhode Island Reds. So we can only do comfortably 12 eggs per uh, per tray. So uh, that's why when we do a full load, we can only do 48 eggs. So uh, <laughs> oh, the other thing I was going to show you is uh, before we get the freeze dryer, <coughs> we... Uh, whipped up our eggs and froze them. So I want to show you it. Sherry's a very organized person. Here's our freezer. Ah. And this is where she stores all of her eggs that have been frozen. Right there. And we got eggs here. Um, so uh, <coughs> hopefully when winter comes and the uh, chickens slow down laying eggs, we'll tap into that. Of course, we freeze dry our eggs, so we got tons of bags of uh, powdered eggs. And uh, so, yeah, we really, uh, we really do not waste our eggs at all. And this is Sherry working our books. <laughs> hey, even when you have a homestead, you got to keep things in line. And, uh, yep. So, not my cup of tea. Glad she does it. All right. So I've infringed enough on my wife, and it's time for me to go out to the shop out here and the sun's coming out things are drying up quick that rain's gonna make this grass grow like crazy but I, I still got to get the weed and feed on the other acre worth of, of grass so we're gonna get in here and pull the uh, spreader out and start that process yuck all right I found my trusty spreader and uh, we'll get her loaded up Go hit the grass over here. And uh, I left the back of my truck open last night with all that rain. Luckily it's just sitting in the sun here. And it'll dry out quick. But it hasn't rained in so long that you kind of just kind of forget. But uh, anyway, we're going to start unloading this stuff. And get to work. The only thing I don't like about this uh, stuff is it's got big clumps in it. So I got to keep going in here with my knife and breaking breaking these uh, clumps up, and uh, kind of a kind of a drag. <laughs> so uh, this is the first section I got to do. I only got half of this done, so we'll do all that. Do we got a whole another section there, and another one in the back? So it's going to take me a while, but uh, boy, it's really cleared up here. Nice blue skies, and. Uh, it's cool enough to make this fairly pleasant. Well, we made it for the first half here. Now we've got this one to do. That's a big one. I think I got one more way in the back. 
and that actually goes around the corner a little bit so we got a ways to go all right we're back for round two had to fill this up again break up the clumps go all the way back over there again and uh start pacing the property all right so that far section is all done i'm empty again i've still got another quarter acre to do um i definitely have enough uh weed and feed so almost done be glad when it's done but hey look at the bright side might make me skinny all right guys we got that project done definitely a little tired from that one uh went to the greenhouse decided to make some modifications so i'll let you take a look so we're uh in the greenhouse now and uh i decided after watching a couple other uh greenhouses that uh i can put two cucumbers per dutch bucket so that's what i did so uh i doubled them up put a new stringers in for water and uh very happy with that i also got brave again i added one more tomato plant right here and i got this tank up and running with all of its nutrients in it and added four broccolis to that right along the line here those were just added today all the other broccolis are doing fine one of the other tricks we learned and we haven't done it to all the buckets yet is to keep the water from the top and causing too much algae when my plants get a little bit more roots to them you can add these little pieces of a uh, pvc pipe uh, into the ground about two inches and put your pipe in there and that'll keep the water from being on the top of the uh, perlite and help uh, reduce the uh, algae growth on the top so uh, we will be doing that to all the buckets eventually when these guys get a little older and have deeper roots uh, that's exactly what we'll do is put some PVC pipe in so we can get the water to the roots down lower and also I uh, encourage them to uh, take their roots down lower thought I'd also show you that the potatoes the first ones are doing really good and uh, as soon as those get about an inch or two more higher we'll put a whole new level of dirt in them let them keep working their way up and uh, we also got a few started in the other buckets here and uh, they're coming along and uh, very pleased with that so uh, yeah greenhouse is cooking right along all the plants look good decided to double up the cucumbers we did get our new lines in our spools all up above up here and that was a result from the reason I had to put those cables in so we're ready uh, we're ready for uh, 10 foot tall tomatoes now I know in due time in due time so uh, yeah that's the latest report from the greenhouse are you guys ready to go in is that the, is that the deal well I was very fortunate Sherry I got done with her books and uh, she's helping me make my velcro window so she's setting this up everything's not exactly square so she's uh, kind of setting things up so she can trim it and then we get this velcro we're going to use for it so we can maneuver it for where we want a lot, of, a lot of air to come in or just a little um, anyway so it would be nice to have this window where we can control it better well guys that uh, wraps up our day we uh, got a new window in got some plants added the winds picking up we got our books done today and I got all that weed and feed on the rest of the property so that was a good day so guys uh, thank you for watching don't forget to like share and, and uh, what else can you do you can like it you can share it and uh, oh don't forget to subscribe so, anyway guys thank you very much for watching until next time bye now our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob poopy bags available at Amazon right now thank you very much for watching our video please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world thanks